Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. I want to invite you. Hey, yo, what's shaking? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day. And if you don't know by now, crushed grapes is a lifestyle. Uh, today we're going to be tasting a Bordeaux Rosé. Uh, for this season, this is probably my favorite go-to varietal and type of wine to drink during summer heat is a Rosé, particularly or preferably a Bordeaux Rosé. This Bordeaux happens to be uh, 40% Merlot and a uh, 60% Cabernet Sauvignon. As you see, I've already been through it. It is delicious. It's a 2016, um, the Chateau is Tour de Groupin, Tour de Groupin. And um, this is um, a Bordeaux Rosé Appellation uh, Bordeaux Controli. So that is, uh, the house that makes it and um, the region of the wine. Let's take a taste. Yes. How y'all doing out there uh, in uh, Vino World, by the way? I ain't asked you that. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Oh, man. Common Bordeaux Rosé, chilled to perfection. You got melons, you got um, cantaloupe, you got a little grapefruit. You got a little uh, watermelon. Mmm. Little bit of um, Passion fruit, you know, passion fruit. Yeah, but it's very melon heavy, you know. Um, you know, uh, ripe melons. So you got watermelon, I think cantaloupe, I'd say honeydew. Um, all these types of melons. Not much citrus, you know. Uh, but I mentioned grapefruit on the nose, just a little bit. But the key word for this wine is refreshing. Um, this rosé is, is very light, you know, the color didn't use much of the skin at all. It's almost like a white, you know, uh, but it's a foggy, you know, peach type of uh, color. And I also taste peach in here and I'm, now I'm thinking about peaches. Definitely. So, um, the great thing about this Bordeaux Rosé, uh, a lot of a lot of Bordeaux's are on the more expensive side. You can find some uh, pretty decent ones like this um, for around seven eight bucks. Um, Twelve point five percent alcohol, so that's there. But value wine, very great quality because where it's made, it's a Bordeaux, you can't go wrong really. You gotta really be a bad winemaker to fuck up a Bordeaux. Uh, it's a 2016, it's been sitting in the bottle for a couple years, so you got, you got that aging in the bottle as well. Um, so, you know, yeah. Uh, a lot of people um, are uh, getting into rosés these days, and uh, if you're gonna start without breaking the bank, I go with something like this. Um, the Tour de uh, Coupin, Chateau Tour de Coupin, or de Rosé, 2016. Uh, somebody emailed me recently and asked, you know, Cab, why you, you know, you, you, you taste a lot of these budget wines, you know, Crush Page Lifestyle, I thought it was all about luxury, upscale, and, you know, um, high end. But, um, contraire, mon frère, because the Crush Page Lifestyle was never about that. That's a misconception. Uh, people see me living an extraordinary life 
of uh, cigars and wine and travel and you know women and partying and all this kind of stuff they got it kind of twisted luxury sneakers yes um, luxury is part of the, the lifestyle but what I'm doing is redefining the definition of luxury uh, luxury does not mean spending a whole lot of money on something uh, when you don't have to okay uh, the great thing about the lifestyle of wine and the culture of wine as well as cigars is that you can you can partake in a very good wine and a very good cigar you know for a very good price you can get a great cigar a great cigar for 10 bucks that's you know and, and you can also get a great cigar for 30 bucks but I've smoked ten dollar cigars that were much uh, much more enjoyable for me than a thirty dollar cigar and um, I've also Vice versa, tasted eight dollar wines that were better than a twenty or thirty dollar wine. It's just the truth. It, it, it's about where the wines made, uh, you know, how the grapes were grown, uh, what the weather was, you know, uh, uh, that year, the vintage, what the wine, who the winemaker is, who the house is. Um, all of that comes into play with wine. It's the same thing with cigars, you know. Uh, Who's the master ruler? Who aged it? Where, where, what is the, what is the, the weather like during the, what's the terroir like? All of that kind of stuff, you know, what's the history of, of these people that are making this cigar? All that stuff goes into play. So, uh, long story short, no, you don't have to spend a lot of money to live the crush grapes lifestyle. You do have to know where and how to spend your money, more importantly. So, if you spend your money with me, I'm going to show you how to, you know, live this lifestyle. And that's what I do with certain clients I have that come from overseas. With the budget that they give me, I put together, you know, the logistics and itinerary for them to enjoy the crush grapes lifestyle. The most beautiful things in life don't cost a whole lot of money. Um, sometimes you gotta spend some money, but you spend some money with crush grapes lifestyle, you're gonna get a product and a service of the highest quality and caliber and that's what you're paying for so once again we got the uh, Bordeaux Rosé 2016 um, that's Cab Cabernet's wine of the day I am Cab Cabernet lifestyle connoisseur and um, if you don't know by now crushed grapes is a lifestyle sip it slow cheers Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab 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 Cabernet.